Hi everyone, welcome back to Behind the Paradigm. I'm with Ben again. We tried filming yesterday and somehow it didn't land in my email, so we're doing this a second time. Um, but I'm gonna kick off with a really quick note that is not as much in Ben's area, and then he's gonna run down all the technical fun stuff. Um, so we have been, obviously, as you guys know, building drifters, which are coming along very nicely. And um, internally, we've also started doing some development work around building like a fitting room and a testing sort of like QA area for not only developers, but also for the non-technical folks on our team. So I'm super excited and very, very thankful for the amazing friends at M3Org and Jin for making this incredible um, open source platform that they have called Character Studio, um, which is specifically made for VRM avatars. So we're super excited. We've um, started building on that foundation to make our own sort of like testing and QA area so that the artists can test work directly without having to just give it to the developers. Um, so it's looking really good and I'm super excited about it. And we're super thankful for them open sourcing that code and letting us build off of that. Um, ben, I'll pass it over to you for today's game updates. Take it easy. Uh, all right, let me share the game. All right, so this week, you're gonna see some things that are foundational for what is going to come and a few new features. So first thing right off the bat, you'll see we have these new tags for safe areas in in all over um, the dreamlands, same for you know, and Tombstone. Uh, if you are familiar with the lore, there are PVP and safe zones. There are no PVP zones yet, but there will be in a few weeks and you'll find out more about that soon. Uh, we have three new areas and three new characters in the game uh, that allow you to do training. So you can train your mind, your body, and your soul abilities. If we travel to the Phantasmagorium, you will find one of the three of them in here in the Soul Sing Sanctuary. Here, you can talk with Bliss and you can actually train your soul abilities. You'll have three training missions. Um, you get to pick which of your abilities you want to train and you'll get XP for them. You won't get any items or fast goods, but it is a reliable, always available option for you to train and level up your abilities all the way to the max. There isn't a max, but, you know, <laughs> turn it up. Uh, so let's see. Oh, man, there was something else. Can I just cover all of it? No. Um, okay, so there's a lot of things that are happening in the background right now. We have a new PvP engine for turn-based battle. Uh, you will see that in two-ish weeks, roughly one or two weeks. Uh, we have the scaffolding of a new update to the chat UI. You will see that in one to two weeks. Uh, all of this and stuff. A dark mode, yet. which I'm excited about. A dark mode. Oh, the dark mode, yes. Yes, people will love that. I will love that. My eyes burn every time I look at the bracer. <laughs> uh, one of the things that people have been asking for that is now added is whenever you uh, travel to an area, if you, whatever room you were last in is the one that you will go to when you hit the explore from now on. So if you go to the dashboard, we go back to explore, it will take you right back to where you started. It will happen when you switch characters as well. And then another big one um, that already launched was the gear gear update. Yes, uh, there is a massive gear update. All of the gear that is in the game has been restructured to cover more of the power tiers that are available and the um, different character types, oh, uh, sorry. Why am I blanking on this? Um, sorry, I also zoned out for a second, so I don't even know the word you're searching for. The classes, okay. yes. So we have um, gear that covers now all of the classes except the leftovers. So within a few weeks, we'll have another gear update that will introduce about 33% more items to the game that will cover leftovers and all the other gaps and also just generally provide a a nice set of evergreen uh, gear for us to launch into. Yeah, and we're already seeing people use the new rebalanced gear this morning um, to their benefit. So I think it's already, the shift is already working. Yeah, it's uh, really nice. We have a bunch of uh, bug fixes as well. So when you go to equip gear, if you have gear that you can't equip, it will um, not allow you to, and it will give you a little explanation now in the item view. So you have more information, this is more of the quality of life updates. Uh, consumables now all work. That is something that, again, in the background, you won't fully realize it until PvP is added in a few weeks. So uh, stay tuned. We've got a lot cooking. Yeah. 
thank you guys. Um, as always, we're super happy to do these shows weekly. If you have questions or thoughts, feel free and drop them and we'll answer them next week. Um, but appreciate all of you guys hanging through and playing through all of this while we literally do live updates uh, weekly, which we're excited about and excited seeing all your feedback in Discord. So thank you guys. Enjoy your weekend and we'll see you in Discord. Bye.